What up folks, welcome back to UltraZilla Toys and today I have a review of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles WWE Ninja Superstars Donatello as The Undertaker It's a Turtle Tuesday once again, but also, you know, following up on uh, the last two Saturdays worth of Undertaker reviews I'm getting done this Donatello as the Undertaker figure from Playmates Toys, um, which is also the final of, of these WWE Ninja Superstars um, turtle mashup figures that I'll be looking at. Uh, I've only picked up four, so you know that this is it for me. Um, it is what it is. You know, I just I just wanted four. I didn't want out of both waves. Didn't want uh, two sets of turtles. Uh, I just picked the four I liked best, so that's what I did. Here's a size comparison to one of the other ones, um, to uh, Leonardo as Finn Balor. Still not sure why he wasn't Raphael. <laughs> but there you go. There's a size comparison for you and some other size comparisons. Let's just get them out of the way. There is George from Leonard Toys. And... Uh, just reviewed Ray, Island Journey Ray, and Duke Thomas from DC Multiverse, and Devil Man to round it out. All right. So this particular one comes with a shovel. How apropos. Uh, this one says Ninja Power, and it's done, does done in this like a uh, silvery. Uh, gray plastic and some brown bits very simple very easy nice little prop fun can't really go wrong with it he also comes with a world title belt yeah the big world title belt the WWE version of the big belt pretty well done I gotta say really like the stickers on these looks pretty good says Undertaker in there you know Drape it over him if you want, however you'd like. <laughs> but there you go, he comes with this. And that's it, you know, and I like that. Uh, I think the other ones came with too much, whether it be like the stairs or the railing. It's just like too unwieldy. Oh, he has a railing right now. Too much, you know? I like the simplicity of what this one comes with. He also comes with the scythe here, uh, which the paint is chipping on, unfortunately. As you can see underneath, it is this gray plastic here, and then it's painted over. But yeah, I got some chip marks here, and I just got this guy out of the package now, so hasn't been rolling around in my collection. But is what it is. It's fine. The molding on the blade is pretty good. It's not so bad. And let's take a look. Now this one, I really do like uh, Donatello here as Taker. Um, I think it works well, the purple, you know. Um, but they could have, like, highlighted that more. They could have added more purple to him. Would it, that have made sense? Make this purple. <laughs> Taker's got a lot of the purple. So um, that would have been good. That would have been real good. He does have the Undertaker-style gloves, which is cool. Um, the the uh, elbow pads are standard turtles, as well as the knee pads. Again, purple. Make him purple. <laughs> I mean, this is this is so simple, playmates. Come on. Um, there you go. He's got hair, and that looks fun. <laughs> That's done well. The hat looks really good. Really pleased with the way the hat turned out. I love his goatee, and I think that works so well for Donnie. <laughs> um, it's pretty good. His eyes are painted well here. The strap here looks good. The gold on there looks good. Um, he does... It is molded, I believe. Or is it just painted? might just be paint. You know, they painted it over. It looks like a bump there. Yeah, there is. Like, it is molded detail. So they did go through the trouble of molding and not just painting his, uh, his chest there. Um, there is some overlap in the paint here, but it's not so bad. Um... You know, I mean, these are bigger, more deluxe turtles, so I would expect a little better. But at the same time, for about a twenty-dollar figure, uh, I got all. I got this one. I think I did get this one for twenty bucks. He's one of the first ones I got. 
uh, maybe leaving a little more at TRU, if I remember correctly. I know two of them I, I saved on and two of them um, I did not save on. <laughs> um, but yeah, pants looks okay. His knee is a little bit scratched up, maybe from doing this. But I haven't, again, I haven't really played with it too much out of the package, so. The boots look good. I really dig, dig, dig the boots. Um, and overall, it's not terrible. I mean, on the coat, of course. The coat does look cool. You can see uh, you know, the back here of his strap and his shell protruding. It's a nice little touch. Although you can't really get back there, but you do see it. You do see the shell there. So it isn't like it isn't there. I don't know. He's not bad. He's not a bad Undertaker. He could have been better, but he's not bad. For articulation, heads on a big ball joint. There you go. What? Why is the ball joint playing to black? That's just weird. Isn't that weird? Why? Why? Why would they do? Like they started doing something and they stopped. Or unless no wait. Uh, plastic is black this is black plastic painted green over it that is very interesting huh yeah that makes a lot of sense now I know really why this doesn't look so good <laughs> it's very interesting okay there you go you learn something new every day folks you really do nothing going on in his chest or anything you got a hinge and swivel at the shoulder. Is hindered by this jacket a bit. A uh, single joint at the elbow. It does have a swivel. And a swivel at the top of the glove there. Same thing, hinge swivel uh, for the thigh. Knee has the same thing going on as well. Single joint. Very little motion there. You're not getting a ton there. It does swivel about. And that's really all his articulation. This is just kind of cool if you're a fan of both like I am, just to have like, you know, representation. I, I'm, you know, I haven't gotten both sets. Uh, again, I chose the four. I really liked out of all of them. I thought that was the best way to go. I don't really need more than this anyway. Um, like they'd have to be like a really, really awesome one in the next wave if there's another wave to replace my four, you know? Um, I'm kind of fine with the four I have so there you go all right guys and that's all I have for this review pretty simple one but I wanted to get it done because this was the last one I like getting some of these last ones done on these turtle Tuesdays uh, I might actually do both the last two Ghostbuster ones I have next week we shall see all right guys so please like comment subscribe and share let me know your thoughts on these series have you picked them up do you like them and until next time Peace out, peeps.